guys, how's it going? So, apologies in advance for my kind of raspy voice. I had a pretty, pretty sick party hosted at mine last night. Yeah, you could say that it uh, it went all the way till midnight. It was like a 10 hour stretch. It was, it was great. Um, <clears throat> if you know, you know. But anyway, we're back and I feel like being useful today. So today's video is for Ulysses31 and he says, Brandon, Comma, may I ask you to do a tutorial for us, please? I'd love to see a tutorial for the advanced version of Guy Relutions. I try to describe what the trick looks like, but unfortunately, I think that would just confuse things. Huh, okay. Um, if you need money to do so, let me know how much and I'll think about what I can do to fund you. Things are tight with the Rona situation. Please get back to me about it. Peace sign, love heart. Well, Ulysses31, I'll tell you what, if you watch this video and just don't skip any of the ads, we'll call it even. All right, so Ulysses has asked me to do the advanced version of Guy Relutions. So I took a look at a few of the tutorials. Um, and Dylan Kowalski has one where he basically does uh, something like that. Um, and that's just, he just kind of breaks down that motion. Um, I think what Ulysses is referring to when he says the advanced version of Guy Relutions is something like this, where it's like, whoa, and it twirls. Yeah, something like that. So that's what today's video is going to be on. Also, no comments about the GoPro. If you guys want the first person angle, you got to deal with it. Now, before we get into the nuances of this trick, it would be really good if you guys already know the trick um, Revolutions, which looks like that And Gyroscopic Flop That looks like this Alright, if you guys don't already know those tricks, I'll link like a Yo Tricks tutorial in the description um, I, I would recommend learning both of those tricks first because this trick is, is generally a pretty tricky trick um, it's, it's an advanced trick, it, it builds up upon multiple layers I would suggest learning um, those two first before getting into this tutorial. But all right, so start off with a trapeze, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into a sideways Mark V mount. And I like to do it by kind of just whipping over like so, and it creates that mount. Um, that might be a little bit tricky for some of you guys who've never done it before. Another way you can do it is doing it via a Houdini mount, like Kamikaze, and you just wanna hit that, uh, pop into the back string like so, and then, then you're in the exact same mount as well. Um, those are two ways to kind of get into it. Um, but again, if you've learned gyroscopic flop, it should be relatively easy for you. So, uh, moving on. From here, from this side, where's my five? What we're going to do is we're going to um, push the O to the back string. And what I like to do is I like to pinch this so it kind of creates the gyro effect. And then pull like that. So pinch here and pull. And it creates that gyro effect, right? Now you have to swing the yo-yo around just when the yo-yo is at its full horizontal length, right? You do it too late, it's not gonna work as well, it's gonna be very difficult to control it. And if you do it too early, it, it's not gonna look as cool either. It's just gonna look like a normal guy revolution. It's just gonna no look like a normal revolution. So it's really important that when you do this, you kind of put the yo-yo back, pull out, and you make sure that, um, that it's fully horizontal before you start the revolutions part. So the second point is when you go through here, you go through here, you want to pinch that string there like so. And then you want to go swing it over, over the top and then down below. Over the top, down below, over the top, down below. And your hand should kind of alternate like you're uh, swinging around a... Uh, I'm not really sure what, what motion this is, but it should go over the top first and then over the down below. Over the top and down below. And you can actually just practice this with a dead yo. You can go one, two, one, two, like that. And that's the motion. That's the horizontal guy relutions. The only, the only difference is what you're doing is you're pinching the slack. You're pinching the slack there and it's just creating that slack horizontally. Like so, right? Boom, like so. Okay, now there's going to be a few of you who are going to be like, Brandon, um, you know, I'm doing this trick, but it keeps falling out. Um, you know, what's, what's wrong? Like, why does, why does my guy revolutions not look nice? And I would say it's most of the time, it's because you're not 
um, your string tension is not good or you're, you're not swinging the yo-yo when it's fully horizontal. So make sure it's fully horizontal in the gyroscope. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to kind of go one, two, maybe three times. And then what you're going to do is you're going to catch it while it's on the top and you're going to swing down like that and then you're going to reverse it. Okay. Now, as a rule of thumb, I like to catch it when the yo-yo is on its top rotation. So you don't want to catch it when it's when it's on its down low rotation. That doesn't really work. I like to do it when it's on its top rotation. So again, what we're going to do, throw there, pinch, pull, upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, upwards, catch. Whoops, downwards. And if you miss, it, it, it's a very finicky trick. So if you don't, if you don't catch it at that exact moment, um, it's going to create some sort of knot. So one, two, three, and then catch, and then swing around. And you're basically going to hold it like this and swing through, kind of like a tangler. Um, it's important when you're doing this motion that however many times you rotate it around like this, you also kind of switch your hand and uh, untwist it. And I'll, I'll explain why in a second. So from here, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then what you're gonna do from here, is you're gonna catch it again and you're gonna pull back out. And the yo-yo should have gone through a full cycle by now and you just unloop it and then it should be in a forward style uh, throw and you can just bind normally. So, so that's really it. Um, the mechanics of the trick are generally quite simple. There's not a lot going on, but it is quite difficult to catch and to kind of adjust the timing of all of these things. Um, it's a trick that definitely takes practice and it's a trick that definitely is very impressive looking. I, I generally use this trick as my go-to to be like, whenever I want to impress someone with a yo-yo trick that I know they're not kind of a yo-yo player, this is what I'll do. So I'll go one, two, and then, so that's horizontal. And then again, catch, one, two, three, reverse, one, two, three, and then go through. Now, if you don't, if, if you don't um, rotate it perfectly each time, so let's say I go, one, two, three, four, five, and I go one, two, and I try to do it back out. It's still possible, but it just looks a little bit ugly, okay? So what I would recommend doing is however many times you rotate on the one side, when you flip it around, um, you, you wanna have it the same amount of times. So for this one, the first way is gonna be left hand over right, and you're gonna switch, and it's gonna be right over left, or throw hand over non-throw hand, and then, so that was a little bit of a speedy tutorial on guy relutions, but I hope that answers your question, Ulysses. This is a trick that generally just requires practice. There's no magic bullet to this other than making sure that you're, um, that it's kind of in constant motion. This is not a trick where you can kind of slow down and, and break the flow. This has to constantly be in motion. Otherwise, the yo-yo will, will tilt out of control um, and it will, it'll die on you. And the next thing is you have to make sure that when your yo-yo is uh, fully horizontal, that's where you're gonna start doing it because that's gonna make it easiest to do and that's also gonna make the, the uh, trick as aesthetic as possible. So again, keep the flow, keep the momentum, um, make it horizontal and literally just practice it. This was a trick I figured out on my own and I am not good at figuring out tricks but again, this is one of those tricks you just have to keep doing and practice until you get it right. And I feel as if this is a good trick to kind of get you comfortable with horizontal play. So Ulysses31, I hope this answers your question. Um, see you guys next time. And also that bind that I'm doing there, it's, uh, it's a, uh, it's, I wouldn't recommend doing that bind. Every now and then it gives you a knot, so I don't recommend that bind in the trick. So uh, do as I say and not as I do. All right. Any comments, questions, criticisms, post them down below. And I will see you guys next time.